Hello guys, and we are back with another round of Broadway Grosses, and it is looking absolutely terrible. So let's get into it. Up first, and Juliet went from 94% to 86%, and 983k to 923k. That is not good. Um, obviously, I, I mean, it's not going to close anytime soon, but the fact that it has fallen this bad in, in such a little span of time is concerning. And I wonder, is the steam starting to go away from Anne Juliet? I did not expect it to do this bad. I thought, okay, you know, it might be 980, it won't go past 950, or even 970. No, it went almost to 900k. So if this goes past 900k, it, I mean, next week, it's in serious trouble. It is not good. It's made enough money that it won't close, you know, in the next five months or so. But, I don't know, like, it, it, this is unexpected. I did not expect this to do this bad. And I, I don't know why. I think mainly the audience that went to go and see it have all have already seen it. And now people are like, okay, it's Anne Juliet. It's not like a main attraction. So it is so interesting because this normally doesn't happen, you know? And this is a, one of those obscurities in, in the uh, musical grosses that, you, that do happen. But I just am like, whoa. Um, but yeah, so not doing bad, I mean, it's not doing great, but like, you know, it is, um, concerning. It is concerned. I am concerned. If I'm a producer, I'm concerned. Um, A Beautiful Noise went from 60, oh, sorry, 83% to 68%, and 985k to 891k. Um, so it had a small one-week victory, um, and then it went back down to where it was, uh, um, already. But the, the gross is still pretty solid at 891k despite the lower capacity. Um, I still think this can close by the end of um, this year, like in December or like in the beginning of 2024, but it seems to always have a rebound, so I don't know. Gutenberg went from uh, 95% in three performances to 7 performances and 89% and 687k compared to last week's 376k. Um, solid start for Gutenberg, solid start. If I'm a, the ego of, 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 of Andrew Reynolds and um, Josh Gad probably is a little hurt because they were expecting maybe a 7 or an 8 or a 9. But they're not that big of a star. But it is a limited engagement, so I do not expect it to close early unless it did very bad, but it's solid for what it is. Um, so yeah. And then we have Hades Town, and this is done. It is done, guys. It is done. You heard it here first. September 26th, 2023. Hades Town went from 96% to 85%. And 671k to 552k. It is over. This this musical with Betty Who. Betty Who. Who even is Betty Who? With Betty Who, it's still doing poor. poor. Even worse. And again, the steam has gone out of Hades Town. The light is gone. If I'm a producer, I would close this in December or like beginning of 2024 and not lose any more money because it is on the verge of, do, of just like flopping out of existence. Um, it, it, it will close very soon, a hundred percent. This is a blimp, you know, it could go back into the sixes, but it wasn't even doing good in the sixes. So, um, it is an, it is a very inexpensive musical to put on every week, but any musical, regardless of how much it costs, is not doing well if it's past 700k. And even in the 700k range, you're in like, you know, murky territory. Hamilton went from 100% to 99% and 1,708,507 to 1,744,838. Um, Here Lies Love went from, uh, I believe, um, 85% to 73% and 634k last week to this week's 577k, and I think this will close at the end of the year. I hate to say it, but they got that new Filipino store to come in, and it didn't help the box office at all. It's making half a million dollars, guys. This is flopping hard. Here lies love. More like, here lies a flop in the making. Sorry, I had to do it. I had The pun was there. The pun was there. Listen, I love this musical. I don't want it to fail, but I gotta say it for what it is. Here Lies Love is gonna close soon unless they have a major turnaround. This musical costs millions to produce a week, 
and it cannot sustain these numbers. So I, I'm very confident this will close in January of 2024, unless they can have a huge turnaround in the next month. But I, I don't see that happening, and I'm just saying it how I see it. But it's not done well, pure and simple. And again, if, if um, this was, you know, um, um, you know, Gutenberg, it would be like, okay, it's fine, but Here Lies Love costs so much money to produce. And you have to think about the, the weekly operating costs, and the weekly operating costs are pretty extensive, especially for Here Lies Love. It's probably somewhere in the 800k plus area, and it's not even, it's not, it's not even close to that. Um, so expect a closing announcement for Hades Town and Here Lies Love very quickly. Although Here Lies Love, they're gonna probably hold out on hope for that one. Um, Akimbo is gonna close soon. It went from um, 87% to 76%, and 588k to 516k. It, it just is not doing the business it needs to do, especially with how much money it lost before the Tonys. And the Tony simply is not uh, helping these prestige, small, best musicals like they used to. And that's very concerning. But it is what it is. Two musicals in a row with Akimbo and A Strange Loop both not getting the necessary money it, that it needs to get. Uh, Merrily We Roll Along started out amazing with only six performances, 100% capacity, and 1,304,508, a juggernaut in the making, and they've extended until the spring, and this is going to be like the next, you know, Sweeney. Uh, Moulin Rouge went from 1,211,552 to 1,093,012, and 97% compared to last week's, um... 98%, Shocked went from 90% to 84%, and 742k to 641k. That's not great, it's a, almost 100, it's a 100k drop. I still think Shocked can make it into 2024, but my initial prediction might still come true. We have to see how it does in the next month. If by the end of, like, if by October 26th, it's only doing sixes and it's fallen to the fives, it's closing in January. But if it can have a rebound like it has done in the past, it could make it. So, still on the fence about that one. Um, six went from 93% to 84%. Oh, 83%. And 848k to 780k. And that is not good. I mean, it, it is a pretty significant um, drop compared to last week. And, um, yeah, a lot of musicals did poor this week. Poor! Some Like a Hot is the big one. And that had 78% um, 70, last week to 61% uh, this week, and 823k to 681k. That is insanely bad. That's almost a 200k drop. Well, not almost. I mean, it's, it's not there yet, but, like, that's a bad drop. And I, I think this will close in January. Again, it, it did amazing over the summer, but, like, it doesn't take long for a show to do super bad for it to close, so it is on very tight water, and when you have these kind of, like, huge decreases, it doesn't bode well. Sweeney went from, um, 98% to 85, 80, wait, Sweeney went from 98% to 95%, and 1,530,903 compared to last week's 855k, and that's because um, they had six performances, and Mr. Groban wasn't in for a couple of performances. So those are the grosses for this week, some very interesting developments, overall a not so good week at all for most musicals, and I think we have Kimberly Akimbo, Hades Town, and Here Lies Love as our three top contenders to announce a closing, and I know for sure at least two of them will be will be done um, come next, you know, January. In January, at least two of them will be closed. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.